Hello guys, welcome to this section of Power BI series. Today I want to show you guys how you can use parameters and uh, dynamically transform data in the Power Query editor. So here I have some data that I have downloaded from Kaggle. I'm going to make the link available in the description. So let's uh, jump right in. Make sure you get that data so that you can follow me along as we do this together. So here, if I come to this home ribbon here, there's a particular feature called Manage Parameters. You can just click on it and manage parameters or manage new parameters. So let's do this new parameters. So here I can select the names of the parameters that I want and uh, let's call it select select country. Select country. I can ask a description here. This is this is for selection. country then the type is definitely text it's a text type because it's country they were selecting and uh, i want to make a list of some countries that will be featuring from so the first one here i want to go with friends that is spelling the second one is belgium that is spelling so let's add another last country let me just go ahead and add angola so here i've added three countries now so if I click OK now, it's going to give me an error because I have to select a default starting value first. So let's go with France because it's the first one that appeared at the top. So here I can go ahead and create that particular parameter. And here when I come back to my uh, data now, I can use this parameter here to transform this data. Let me show you guys how I can do that. So if I come to this country here now, I can completely just load everything because here is the list may not be complete. So let's load everything. And here I can come a uh, text filter because it's a text file and let's just go ahead and click what we want to transform the data on and here I can go ahead of course and filter at France but one important thing of about this is that I can go and apply that parameter here which is select country I want to apply that it's going to filter only France for me Have you seen it let's come back here and change the parameter let's change it to Belgium Let's just come back here and I see that it is filter only Belgium for me. If I come back here and change it to Angola, I can come back here and I see it will filter only Belgium for me. So this is how you can transform your data dynamically using the parameter. Let me show you guys another thing. You can still use this parameter here to make some other calculations. Before that, let's come here and clear all the filter on this particular country. Let's clear all the filter so that we'll load all the whole data. So now that we are back to the home ribbon, let's create another parameter. Let me come here and do new parameter. And here I want to do some calculations. So I want I'll call it um, calculations. Calculations. So here let's just leave that. And I want to I want to be a decimal number and actually any value at all. Let's leave it on that type. And let's just add uh, 0.2 of course we can still edit it later and here i have the parameter so let me show you guys how i can use parameter here to create another new column if i come to this add column ribbon here and i click on custom column here i can do some calculation let's see we want to multiply the gdp by this column here i can click on that gdp and insert and let's add a, multiplic a multiplication uh, a multiplication sign then let's add the calculations and here it is it has been you multiply the gdp by the calculation so if i click ok now we should see another new column or let's just change it to calculations uh, calculations so that we can see it clearly oh, i'm not getting this very well all right so now if I click OK now, we should see another new uh, column calculations being created from these parameters here and this GDP. And I can also go ahead and also change it from, let's say I want to change it from 0. Point. Let's check that first and see. Here you can see it to be 0 because I left 0 here and 0 by multiplying everything is 0. So if I come back here and take 0. 0.5 and if we come back here, you see that is going to still change again so this is how you can use your parameters to 
transform your data in your power query uh, i hope you like this video and if you do go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to this youtube channel you have to subscribe so that when a new video is out you will be the first person to be notified thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next section stay blessed